Still, I can't stop thinking about you. But I feel like this is someone who wants their cake and eat it too. Hmm. I feel like this is someone who is afraid of something. So they have allowed some things to take place that left things very messy. Hmm. I also see someone putting thoughts or negative energy towards them, putting negative thoughts in their head. And this is why they're insecure, afraid when it comes to affairs of the heart. As I sense, it may be the very reason they're hiding from you even though they think about being closer to you. But I feel in so many ways, this is someone who doesn't want to do the emotional work. This is where their fears sit in, but they're also letting their doubts and negative thoughts and even third parties get the best of them. I feel this is someone who still hurts, still thinks about a connection, especially when it comes to you. If they're avoiding something, because they know they crashed out or made some choices that they still can't make sense of. This is why someone is hiding from you. Something still hurts and they're ignoring you or blocking you out because they're still juggling. Hmm. But someone is still attracted to you, drawn to you, drawn to your energy, yet this energy is still juggling. Hmm. Juggling crumbs struggling weaknesses and addictions. This is someone who has retreated. Retreated because they've yet to solve some issues. This is what's making them vulnerable to people putting things in their head or placing doubt where there shouldn't be. This is why someone is ignoring you, locking you out, even being shady with you, being a big baby because they know they lie to you. Someone knows they lied to you in a very big way. And even if they do leave their own lies, they know that you don't. I also feel like this is someone who is holding on to something that you did or didn't do. And is causing some type of void in their mind where they have convinced themselves that you're wrong in some way. Yeah, I feel this energy is just wasting time by not resolving their issues, lying to you with some type of falsehood, even acting cold, because in so many ways, even though they are afraid of you or intimidated, they know they're, they're a sucker for you. For many of you, this is someone who is also receiving bad advice, and they could be acting cold, being ignorant to a situation, telling falsehoods, but at the end of the day, at the end of the day, someone knows it hurts. It hurts that you're moving on, or someone did something quickly, ghosted you, broke some promises, didn't take notes, didn't take you seriously, even though they know that you are special. Someone knows that no one else is going to really put up with what they have done, or even what they're doing, as they may still be caught in some type of illusion or confusion. As I said before, someone's definitely taking the wrong advice, especially when it comes to a situation that should have been resolved. Someone is putting negative thoughts in their head about you, hmm. possibly telling them that they don't deserve you or they can't dig their way out of something. But it's causing them to want to manipulate something with you instead of coming straight from the heart. But I feel without someone placing blame or putting some type of negative thoughts in their mind, someone would have already made their way back to you. Let's get some more energy here. All these here. What are the messages here? So for many of you, this is someone who is trying to keep something close. They're daydreaming about you. Hmm. Wow. But they also know they got caught. They got caught. Someone got caught in, while being in their head, living in some type of fantasy. Someone wants to try something again, but they also feel you're acting cold as well. Someone is not wanting to admit that they are a sucker for you, and this is why they're lying to you, not wanting to admit something. Oh, wow. Even though they know something still hurts when it comes to them, they're not acknowledging 
that something may still be annoying, disappointing, or hurtful when it comes to the things they have done to you. But I feel it could be now or never when it comes to someone who is completely confused. This is someone who is confused to the cinema, the drama that they have caused, the, the town moments, the chaos, disasters, these sneaky moments where they were accusing you. Someone was accusing you of the actions that they feel caused something to fail. This is someone who is confused to why you're being so distant or silent. But I feel it's the fact that they tried to cover something up or even be sneaky about the drama and chaos they caused. Hmm. For many of you, you feel like it's too much of a risk to try again. It's too much of a risk to try to pacify this energy who never truly feels like they have done any wrong as this is someone who has some snake-like vibes. I feel this energy has drained you publicly as well as privately as you've been patient enough for someone who is just not taking life seriously. They have a lot of trickster ways. Nothing is never adding up and you can never really put the pieces together. But you know, deep down, they can't be trusted because they never take anything seriously. As they have some type of attitude of, this is who I am, take me as I am, or take it or leave it. But I feel this energy was truly shot when you chose yourself instead of them. I feel something was shocking when it comes to someone who is not loyal Someone coming up as a cheater. Someone is shocked that you're being cautious. Because this is a side of you that they're not used to. They feel like you have options now. They're shocked you have options. But someone is also shocked that they can't cover something up when it comes to accusations. Something that they are accused of. For many of you, this is someone who wants to make an offer or they just want to return wanting to be back in position, but many of you are just not wanting to pacify this disaster because it's hard to figure them out or this energy is wanting to return, but it's hard to figure you out. I feel this is someone who has a lot of love for you, but they have a strange way of showing it because they feel like you're protecting yourself because of the evidence that you may have. But I also feel there's evidence of turbulence ahead. There could be troubles ahead, some type of storm, tower moments, when it comes to someone who is just wanting to come together, but someone is coming from a very strategic place instead of coming from the heart. I feel this is someone who is wanting to get closer. They feel like they're still not over you. This energy wants to send you some type of love, but I feel this love turns into some type of argument, tower moment. This is someone who is going to show you while there is distance in the first place because this energy they're still hiding something and they've got their fingers crossed hoping you don't see it or you don't notice but I feel this is connected to their parties, interferences, something that is connected to affairs and connections this is someone who still cares but I feel they're in a very sticky or dirty situation things are messy Someone wants to send a message, but there's a lot of things they need to clean up or clarify as the confusion they're in is only the one they created. This is someone who is confused at the fact that you're not thinking of them or trying to resurrect something that has been broken or something that has been lost for a very long time. As many of you are tired of dealing with something that has become a disaster, knowing someone has break from you for a very long time. Now they may have ruined their last chance by telling false statements, false accusations, hmm. causing some type of disaster through their lack of control and choices. Let's start from this thing, Holy Spirit. What are the messages here? I have a message confirmation, Holy Spirit. Wow. It's obvious to me we're dealing with a runner. Someone who is running away from the disasters that they have created while being in their head about love, deep connections. Hmm. 
And even though this energy is thinking about you, they have retreated because they're still dealing with some addictions and weaknesses. I feel this is someone who's dealing with something that you will find very annoying or possibly even a deal breaker as many of you have a very low tolerance for this energy's bullshit. This is someone who knows that they are a runner, but I also feel the fact that they are receiving the wrong advice is the reason that they're still lost in daydreaming and still going in the wrong direction. So in so many ways, someone knows that they're not making the right choice, but in so many ways, they're still stuck and bound, daydreaming, lost in their thoughts, their mind, their head. But someone is also placing some negative things in their head as well. This is someone who is not mindful or just not really thinking about who they trust. They have a fear of connection and love, responsibility when it comes to you, but they're open to the wrong people trying to prove themselves to the wrong people. Yet I feel you have a gut feeling. Hmm. Wow. Or this energy does. Please take it how it resonates. But I feel like this energy may have some thoughts about you having some harsh words for them. They feel like it could cut deep because of their rigid games. This is someone who feels like they're going to have to beg and plead. They're still holding on to a possibility. They're also reflecting on something that reminds them of you. This is another reason they're holding on. Someone is in deep regret. Very emotional behind the scenes. This is someone who doesn't want others to see them in this emotion. I feel this is someone who is one way around others and very different behind closed doors. Where they're expressing some sort of fear and emotion, yet they're doing it in silence by themselves. This is someone who has a lot of heartache, still holding on to you, but because they know that what they had with you was right, it was pure, now that they know the difference between what they had versus what they have now. They see you as a soul tie, something they should have never lost. I feel the doses on them in some type of way. They thought they were getting away with something strategically. And I feel this third party or whatever they walked into definitely puts you in a position to have the last laugh. Because this aftermath makes them feel like you're in the energy of fuck love. Or fuck whatever they're trying to give. You don't care about the love. Mm. Someone feels like you no longer care the way you used to. This energy feels like if they reach out, you might have harsh words or you might laugh in their face or even flip them off. But at this point, because of the distance, the time, they feel like you don't care at all. And they feel like if you only know about the skeletons, in their closet that will be a fact and they will be an afterthought I feel there's a time stamp when it comes to someone's guilt someone's thinking about it someone's knowing that they are guilty of what they've been charged with whether that is from you or just in life just in general but someone's no knowing that they're guilty of showing their true colors when it comes to a soul tie they know they hurt you they should have never thought that they would have the last laugh. Because now that you have come to a space where you see a truth or you see their true colors, something has created a ripple effect of silent tears. Wow. A lot of emotions. Tower moments. Someone feeling like there is no way back when it comes to something that they now feel is dead. They could be trying to numb the pain by addictions, instant gratification, weaknesses, but they're all in their head about coming your way, moving forward. They're in their head about their dreams, but I feel something has become a time stamp when it comes to what they're hiding, holding on to. Wow. Someone has retreated because of their weaknesses, but they can't help but have love or a lot of emotion on the brain, trying to stay strong even though they know they're weak and because of their insecurities and weaknesses 
they're doing a lot of things to ease their pain. I feel this is someone who regrets showing you a side of them that they had yet to show you, thinking that they would have the last laugh. This energy regrets not giving a damn about the love you gave. Because now that you're over it, you're done, this energy is regretting the fact that they pushed you to be this way. I just think they never thought things would go down like this. For many of you, this is someone who stepped out of bounds thinking that they always had the opportunity to come back your way. Especially if you saw changes in the right direction. Yet I feel this is someone who went in the wrong direction and just never changed their course. Leading many of you to believe they would never change. And for many of you, you just might be right. Because for many of you, I feel you may have a good feeling when it comes to this energy who may be completely lost when it comes to understanding you. Hmm. Wow. Okay. So for many of you, you have to snap out of it when it comes to taking a new path when it's concerning this energy. For many of you, I feel you have to do it for your sanity. Because had you stayed loyal or confused by what they said or did, you would have definitely become lost. Wow. So, for many of you, you snapped out of it when it comes to taking a new path or doing something a different way. When it comes to taking closure or getting and receiving closure. Even if this energy gave you nothing in return, nothing but disappointment and silence, Many of you stop seeking answers. Hmm. And they're now feeling you push them out. I feel for many of you, you had to snap out of it because you just kept repeating cycles with someone who is never really giving any answers to your questions or even listening when you speak. As I said before, this is someone who has become a clown. Someone who is just not taking you seriously yet destroying everything in their path. Yet I sense in an effort to bury the bullshit, put something behind you. I feel many of you chose to do something different and this is why someone was very shocked that you chose yourself instead of them. For rest, recovery, sanity, you have too much to lose. Too much to lose, many of you are focusing on self, protecting your space, your energy, in a very messy situation and for many of you I don't feel like you really know how messy it really is for some of you you could really care less you're moving in a different way something is definitely pushing you to a different path for a very big reason and I feel that has a, a lot to do with your investments something that you have invested time and energy in but I feel you're not really expecting much but I feel it's more than what is expected hmm. someone's trying to catch you Get you slipping. Stay woke. This is what time is telling me. This is a very messy situation where you could be protecting yourself or you need to. In this season, I feel you must protect yourself at all costs, not allowing anything to shake or break your energy. Trust yourself. Hmm. I feel not trusting yourself could be very hazardous in this season. I feel you must trust what someone has already shown you when it comes to them not taking something seriously. Mm -hmm. Because I feel you have too much escape when it comes to having too much sympathy for someone. I feel you must pay attention. Wow, you might be better off alone. Lone wolf energy here. I feel for many of you, you're going to choose what best, what's best for you anyways. Because changes are happening. So at first I was a little concerned that you may give something a chance. But I feel for many of you, you just might dwindle on something. Maybe even let something pass your mind or your thought patterns for just a moment. But I feel you're going to snap out of it because changes are happening. Something is directing your energy. This is intuitively. I see you paying attention. It almost seems like you're not, but this is why, and this is how, you end up snapping out of it. Snapping out of this trance, 
that this energy believed that you would always be in. Because I feel like you just stepped into your season. And this is why you're not taking their shit. Because good things are coming your way. I feel like someone never expected you to release something that was truly poisonous to you, holding you back. But I feel like many of you, you never truly thought about it. Not in that way. You never truly thought that someone could be a backpack. Something that was weighing you down, holding you back from your true abundance. Your true light and opportunity. This is gargoyle energy. Someone is needing to protect themselves at all costs, especially when it comes to your heart. Someone is wanting to tap in on that. Tap into the emotional history of a situation. Hoping to be chosen or put back in position. But I found many of you are definitely moving out of the energy of your third eye. Hmm. And I feel in so many ways. At some point this energy wasn't taking you serious. And now things are not the same. Because now you might be in that energy. Hmm. I definitely feel something has disrupted the change. This energy wants to reach out. So for many of you, whatever this energy has run to, things are definitely being disrupted in their life. They're wanting to protect themselves, but not having protection. Someone is thinking about how they broke the trust with you. How you won't see them the same now that your third eye is open. Someone wants to call you, but they feel like you think they're just running game. Hmm. Wow. So someone wants to talk to you because things are definitely blowing up in their face. Something is definitely falling apart or something is getting a little bit more serious than what they thought it would become. Because this energy is not feeling like themselves. Someone's definitely in a space where it's hitting different. Thinking that it's all over. They regret the things they did. They regret the fact that you're now protecting yourself. They want to kiss and make up. Someone wants to kiss and make up. They want to tell you they had a moment of madness. Like they were insane for a moment. I don't know why I acted this way. They're praying for some type of solution. But they're not wanting to resurrect the past. Someone doesn't want to talk about what they have done. This is why they're not, not liking the fact that you're protecting yourself. Or you're in the energy of taking a stand and not playing the game. They're just not used to you being in the energy of being against them. Or not compromising. <laughs> Somebody, somebody look like they're going, going through hell. They're going through a lot of things behind the scenes. Because they're not doing well. They're having nightmares or someone they're with is causing something to be a nightmare. Someone's having nightmares because of their betrayal. They're upset. They're having a really crazy season. Something is being continued when it comes to a very scary lover. They regret connecting with something they realized something was just smoking mirrors and someone shouldn't have had the access that they had because they now feel this energy is draining them they feel like this energy is a vampire because things have definitely gone wrong things have definitely hit rock bottom or the lowest of the low because this is hellfire because someone's definitely becoming a problem creating drama Unable to relax, unable to clear their head. This energy is more than drained. This energy feels empty, dead inside. They regret playing these games because it only backfired. You're protecting your energy and this energy is repeating cycles they feel will never end. This energy is unable to see anything coming to an end. So they could be pretending to be content where they are even though they know with you they could win. Wow. So, someone's trying their best not to be afraid to connect or communicate, but they are. They're afraid. They're afraid to talk, and when they do, someone manipulates them. This third party definitely is a handful, and they're giving them a run for their money. So, I definitely feel in the beginning this person thought that they had control or they had the upper hand in the situation, but once they had this loss, they made some sacrifices. Man, their, their resources are not the same. And this is why they're stressed out. A lot of anxiety. Things have gone wrong. Things have seriously gone wrong. This is why they're going through a 
creaky season they're praying for some type of solution but there's no solution because someone is going through karmic justice this is someone who shouldn't believe everything they hear but they're dealing with some bullies who have bad intentions just not bad intentions of hurting others but hurting them as well there's a lot of pain there's a lot of envy jealousy people using each other for resources so for many of you this is not a situation where someone is being taken advantage of i feel in this third party situation they're using each other and i feel one just might be a little bit smarter than the other and the other wants to go in the other is just accepting things for appearances they're not letting go of this third party is content <sighs> While someone is wanting to be with you, they feel like they're going to have to live in this hellfire. They know they're getting played. <laughs> someone knows they're getting played. They made the wrong decision. And they're running from their problems. The crystal ball here. This is someone who knows they chose the wrong thing. Mm -hmm. But they're choosing not to see what's already clear to them. Even though there is a trail of evidence that is letting them know that someone is sneaky and shouldn't be trusted. I feel someone didn't come to that conclusion until it was too late. Now someone wants to kiss and make up. Want it to be in your energy. Because things have definitely gone wrong. Things have blown up in flames. And someone has definitely become a problem. Someone is wanting to disappear again. Because there's some sudden changes coming up. So someone's wanted to just run. Run just like they did to you. Because as I said before. You're dealing with a runner. But there will be some changes that. They least expect when it comes to someone who is draining them. Hmm. Someone who is taking what they want. Not even taking what they need. This is someone who is draining them. With no cause. And I feel the more this third party. Causes damage or makes them feel regret the more they miss you because they know with you it would never have been that way this is someone who's thinking of you thinking about expressing that to you wanting to kiss and make up but the fact that you have chosen what is best for you this energy is still doing too much so they're pouring into someone else even though they want to pour into you so for many of you, this is someone who wants the bleeding to stop. But the fact that you are guided in a different direction, someone is having to deal with what they're dealing with. Because as I said before, it is the mess they created. As I feel like this is someone who wants to make some differences. They feel like there's a lot of challenges going through this hellfire. But I feel their actions should be speaking louder than their words. I feel this is someone who should tell the truth. It's the only way out. And it's the only way I feel many of you will give them the respect. Or even a piece of it. I feel you will respect the truth more than you respect the lies. I feel this is someone who knows that you have awakened to something. You're aware. I feel like many of you know how powerful you truly are. At first you were afraid. Hmm. But I feel many of you are now realizing how your silence is more powerful than you thought. Hmm. Now you feel more safe where you are. For many of you, this energy wants to make up because they feel like you're hiding. And this energy is going through a free-for-all, dealing with a situation that they now regret. For many of you, this is someone who wants to snap out of it too. Choose a different path just like you did. But it's just not that easy. Someone's going to have to deal with the fire that they have created. Because something has definitely gotten out of control when it comes to the time that they have lost. The wasted time when it comes to reconciling with you. Someone wants to kiss and make up, but it just might be too late. I feel there's an upcoming situation or event where someone is wishing that you were around, that you were present. Because at this point, whoever they are with, they are wishing it was you. I feel there's someone who wants to come your way, but they're repeating cycles, so they feel like you are 
at a distance or there's something protecting you from them or you're just protecting your own energy focusing on something different because things have gone bad this is why reconciling this might be out of reach hmm. I feel this is someone who was trying to catch you slipping when it comes to emotions but you had to snap out of it snap out of it when it comes to using your heart over what you know is true let's get some more energy here of course if you guys are enjoying the reading please let me know by commenting down below or liking this video hmm. so for many of you this is someone who had you waiting even though they know they should have just spoke up talked to you I feel someone was trying to string something along because they were too content with playing both sides. I'm not sure what that means, but I feel this is someone who wants that chance, wants to recover something, but they're afraid fishing for something. Someone knows that they were taking something out on you. They're not acknowledging all of the choices that they made, but they know for a fact that the anger that they had towards you, it was misplaced. But I feel someone is learning a lot of lessons when it comes to their fears, block chakras, the fact that they are even fighting their demons and they don't even know it. Wow. Someone knows that you were there for them, but they were too tied into their weaknesses. They want to recover something. They want a second chance, but they feel like you still have some type of anger towards them. But I feel you have no fear. You have no anger in your heart. I feel this is someone who has an energy of being trapped, unable to move forward because of what they feel, they think they know. But I feel they're just distorted and distracted by a drama queen, a third party, an outside influence, even this chaos and confusion between the two of them. This energy feels obligated to the third party. Hmm. Obligated, trapped by the family drama. Trapped by the third party outside influences there's a trauma bond here there's also addictions here that's causing chaos someone regrets taking things out on you because at this point they know they went the wrong way their life is just so different things are so different now someone wants to tell you how they feel but they're ashamed Someone knows they ruined everything, but they don't know how to work their way out of this. But as I said before in this reading, someone is just chaotic in the head. They know they made some bad choices, but instead of coming from the heart, they're moving strategically. And that's what's going to cancel out everything. Many of you are not, wanna, not gonna wanna hear them out because of that. Someone wishes they would have treated you better, but I feel wishes rarely make a dream come true this energy needs to move with actions this is someone who is just sitting in a space of drowning in their sadness or despair causing them to feel more exhausted depleted mm. feeling like they're going through some type of curse or something this energy feels like they can't come back they feel like they're going through so many detours but i feel these detours are only lessons that need to be learned this is why this energy is so exhausted because they fail to really make a move when it comes to admitting that they are sorry but i feel this is someone who allowed their pride to get in the way because they became emotionally detached from you I feel there's a tower moment connected to these detours. This is another reason why someone is at a distance, ashamed, knowing that they are sorry. It's all hitting different, knowing that they misplaced their anger, but they just don't know where to go from here. As I said before, you guys, someone just needs to come from the heart, have an honest conversation with you. I feel you're going to respect the truth more than you respect the lies and their strategic behaviors. But I feel someone's placing some type of doubt in their mind that makes them feel like they have to play these games. But many of you never signed up to be in the circus. And even though you know the clown, it just might be in the space of having regret or making the investment. This is someone who doesn't really know where to go from here. 
they want to change or they want you to believe that there is change but they also feel that you won't hear them out all because of the fact that they're always making the wrong choice setting the wrong tone giving you the wrong vibe I feel like this energy wants redemption and wants to be next to you, but I feel they see things only from their own perspective at times, especially when they're emotionally charged or even the fact that they have gotten so used to others having sympathy, which has only caused them to ignore the truth and pretend they have standards, morals, values, and even a conscience, yet they don't possess any of that when they're only thinking about themselves as they will cheat, lie, and disrespect you, yet believe your blind loyalty is owed to them. Now they're trying to get you to feel some type of way or even have some type of empathy, but by the distance that has been created, they're now starting to see that the hate they thought you had was only love. <laughs> Strength and love of you hoping they don't destroy themselves. Because at the end of the day, I don't see you having any type of true hate for this energy. I just see you realizing that some games just ain't worth being played. And now the choices are made, someone is wondering if you still want answers. This is some final energy here for this deck here. Hmm. Wow, well, for many of you, this is definitely a wake-up call. A wake up call when it comes to someone and their choices. Mm. Wanting to be assertive in a situation, someone is also wanting you to feel something is a misunderstanding. If this energy is still sitting in some lustful ways and they know they're guilty. I feel this is someone who's going through a wake up call when it comes to their resentment, how they truly feel about you. It's something that's being exposed. And for many of you, you already know it's not a misunderstanding. This is someone who knows they're sorry about something, but they are too lost or confused to admit it to self or anyone else. But I feel there's a wake up call when it comes to how they truly feel. I feel this is someone who is afraid to show you the real person that they are because it's not the person that they have presented to you but they're also feeling entitled to pretend gaslight waste time keep secrets i feel they're keeping secrets to hide the pain as well as the agenda someone's trying to hide what is not resolved but i feel them hiding keeping secrets will keep things from reconciling someone knows that they didn't leave a mark on you in the way that they wanted to hmm. or they feel like you left a mark on them because they truly hate nothing about you hmm. you're everything they sh should have hmm. but they're being a fraud because they are emotionally scarred someone knows they lied to you someone knows that they are a liar a fraud bad news Especially when it comes to a disagreement, there's miscommunication, and someone is feeling broken because of it. Wow. Someone is learning in a very harsh way in this season that love is an action. Just not something to be talked about, repeated, broken promises. But I feel in some, some way, somehow, someone will find a way to reach out to you, even if they're broken. This is someone who feels like time is running out. They don't like the fact that you are cautious. Mm, isolated they see you as a twin flame they don't like this separation because the time moment is big they're exhausted they don't like the detours they feel despair and hopeless they want to tell you they're sorry but they feel like you won't believe it <sighs> I want to tell you how I feel but you feel like they're still emotionally detached still sitting in a place of lust feeling like they'll still butcher your heart. For many of you, you are receiving intuitive downloads when it comes to this energy. You feel like this energy may fail you in some type of way. They will disappoint you again. You're getting some type of download and I feel you're getting that download because even though they miss you, they still 
have a long way to go. Um, so for many of you, this is someone who is definitely hooked in some type of way. They feel like you have some type of proof about this groupy activity, third-party energy, but they're still wanting to make some type of offer. But this energy, this energy believes something will be an argument, a fight, even physical. This energy feels like you may physically attack them, or this energy feels like there will be a war. But they feel like whatever it is, they won't be ready for it. This is why they're planning, trying to be strategic. So for some of you, this energy is not being strategic because they're just a bad person. They're being strategic because they feel like they don't know what to do. They want to plan for this. They don't want to get this wrong. But I feel in so many ways they're still talking. Or someone's talking about them like they're broke. They could be looking you up, fishing for compliments, but many of you are going to dodge this bullet because in so many ways, someone is still sitting in the energy of low vibration, still moving around, keeping grudges. Wow, someone's keeping grudges, big grudges. Someone's real mad. They're moving around, trying to affect people by being silent or distanced, but they're starting to realize keeping a grudge isn't right. Wow. Caring about someone is just not hurting someone. Loving someone is an action. But now that this energy is broke or down on their luck, they're wanting to come back. But they feel like you're unfazed, not wanting to invest because of this love triangle or third party energies that are cloud hungry. So for many of you, these third party energies are coming out as bullies. Whether that is in person or behind closed doors, whatever it is. But many of you are unbothered because you got nothing to do with that. And the fact that this energy is knowing that they can't make an offer that you will accept. A dirty offer. Yeah. They're acting this way. They, they feel like this third party is hating on their happiness. And this is why every time they screw up, they're starting to snap out of it. They're hooked, but they're haunted. Hooked, but haunted, and crying over you. This energy is upset. Having flashbacks, trauma. These flashbacks are full of all the things that they have done to you. Because they know deep down that, that these tears, it's not because they're, they're sad for hurting you. This energy is crying because of karma. So they got a lot of it. This energy is hurt. Because they went the wrong direction. They allowed somebody to put a key in their back. They allowed others to speak on you when they shouldn't have. They allowed some things to go down. And they feel like they can't be undone. I feel this is someone who is going through bad karma. They're intimidated, threatened, bothered by legal issues. This is someone who is going through a lot behind the scenes. And they're also dealing with someone who is watching them. This could be a stalker. But I also feel this is someone who is going through some threatening issues when it comes to bad habits, addictions, toxicities. This is someone who is also bankrupt emotionally, spiritually. This energy is reflecting. This energy is thinking about how they ran from you out of ego something so someone feels running from you took something that they can't replace I don't know if it's the memories the heart the connection whatever spark that you guys had or someone took something from you or this connection that you invested in because hmm. there's theft whether that is emotionally physically or financially there's a loss you someone's feeling robbed Wow, this is why this energy feels like there's going to be a fight. They're reflecting on it, and they feel like what they did has brought them karma because now they're dealing with a stalker. This is not little, a literal stalker like somebody's like stalking them, but they feel like someone's just stuck on them, not letting them go regardless of the fact that this is toxic. Whatever they're going through with this other energy is always fighting it's always a war there's always competition this is why they can't relax they can't think they can't think their way out of this this is why they can't be real with you and this is why they they're still not real with self this third party's got them buckled down confused this energy doesn't know which way is up and this energy can't see the light they can't see you this third party got a lot of scare tactics Someone was wasting their time and now they're stuck. No changes. They're limited and rejected. 
I feel someone is feeling like they are rejected because of what they did to you. Now you're uninterested. But I feel you had to walk away to heal your heart. Things got real. I don't feel like they really know how serious this was for you. I feel you've never really had a connection like this. You've never really invested the way you did with this energy. And they really screwed it up. They blew it. This is why they feel like they can't make this offer and it'll be rejected. But they're still moving out of ego, still dealing with groupies. And they feel like you got proof. This energy is fake flexing. Feeling like they don't have the inside scoop. They want more. Yet this energy is still flexing, being an imposter, moving in silence in their head, still thinking about their reputation and the fact that they are blocked. I feel they are also attached to fake friends, family members, energies around them, karmic energies. Please take it how it resonates. But someone knows that something is played out when it comes to someone who took their shine. They feel like a creep. Wow, someone is definitely watching them. They're trying to dust something off. They feel like something is, they feel like something about them doesn't matter. No one cares about me. This is someone who is definitely sitting in a a, a pile of shit or I feel like this is someone who's like in a pity pool, like really taking pity for self. Even though they are the ones who became a spiritual hater. They had no facts or this third party have no facts, but they're making up a lot of things about them. This is someone who's wasting a lot of time with this third party. They're trying to ride something out, but I feel the more they stay, the more this third party will play, the more damage that they make. I feel this is someone who feels like something is innocent or someone is innocent and they truly are not. They feel like this third party can do no damage, but this energy is creating a lot of damage behind the scene. And if anything, they could have created this legal issue as well. Because it's definitely tied to each third party. Whether they were there when they did something wrong. Or they're in some type of conflict with this third party. That they would rather let go or forget. Because as I said before you guys. This is someone who never thought that they would be the clown in this story. They always thought that they would be the ringmaster. Because from what I can see. They definitely have no control. Not the way he thought they did. Someone wants you to let them in. They want to shift the way that you think of them. They don't want you to see them as a snake. But for many of you, you see them as something very <sighs> suspicious. And if you do see them as someone who is cunning or someone who is has snake-like vibes. This energy wants you to believe that they have shedded their skin and become better or new. Yeah, I feel this is someone who has only shedded their skin to become a bigger snake. For some of you, a very small few of you, there's changes here that they are learning from. Yet I feel for others, this is someone who is just wanting to shift your perspective and not do the work. This energy is coming out as desperate and playing nice. This energy is playing nice because they are heavily burdened by transforming. Sacrifices are being made and they're overthinking things. This is why they're playing these mind games. Someone's holding on to you because they have deep feelings for you. They see you as authentic, a good person. Oh, wow. And they're stressed by their desires and their weaknesses. So for many of you, they're holding on to the thought of you because they feel like that's what's keeping them sane. As I said, this energy has definitely become stressed by their desires and weaknesses. They've become the silent one. This energy is definitely dealing with an inner monologue where they're silent because they don't trust something around them. They know they are flirting with danger when it comes to an influence that is distracting them and causing them to feel caught up. As I feel this is someone who is just not in the same energy that they were once in before. They're low-key thinking about or watching someone be a snake. I feel like this is someone who is watching someone betray them. They're trying to be silent about it. But they're also feeling like they need to speak up. 
but as I said before in this reading they feel like they realize when they do speak up things never change or this third party makes them feel like it's all in their head when it's truly not this third party really has some serious game when it comes to manipulation, trying to have their way, or keeping this energy confused and lost because, as I said before, they really never know which way is up. Always giving a sense of confusion. This is someone who knows they owe you more than an apology, but I feel there's a lot of blessings to be learned. I feel this is someone who needs to snap out of it, but yet needs to do it at their own free will. I feel deep down they know you won't see something as a misunderstanding. And the fact that they are wanting to admit that they took some anger out on you is a big step. Mm. Because what they're dealing with with this third party is not what it seems. Someone wanted to blame something on being a misunderstanding, but this third party is clingy and compelling. This third party is compelling when it comes to hypnotizing them. They don't want this energy to be after you. This third party is coming out as a know-it-all. <laughs> and they're definitely in the energy of not wanting to be played with. This third party energy is definitely ruthless in a very conning way. This is why you're this energy who misses you thought that they were in control this third party allowed them to think that way so now they're playing the game keeping their enemy closer they're suspicious of a hidden assassin someone who has street smarts someone who feels they have control but this energy is aware of them being compelled to be this way towards them mm -hmm. Someone is very aware of a hidden assassin. Nothing is hidden about this energy. But now that they know the truth, they're allowing this third party to believe they still have control, even though that they are aware. But the more aware that they become, the more they want to attach themselves to you. But I feel before they do that, this energy needs to close some doors before they open anything with you. And until they do that, this energy will be rejected and you will be protected. I feel this third party is very cunning. There's a tag team energy here when it comes to connections. I feel there's a shot caller as well and this energy is needing to watch their back because there's an even bigger snake in front of them. Hmm. Wow. So someone's trying to play it cool and pretend like something is not bothering them or they're not seeing something that is right in their face. I feel something is definitely obvious, but I'm not sure which way that's coming from. But as I said before, someone's trying to be mellow when it comes to a shot caller. Someone doesn't want this third party to see that they see something for what it is. Hmm. Someone's taking a sly approach to something that is very intimidating. I feel something is intimidating because they feel like there's a mob. Mm. A mob talking shit. <laughs> but they also regret giving in to a beautiful liar. Someone who had cruel intentions of feeding off of them or feeding into something. Because this is someone who is definitely starting to be persistent. Mm. Wow, this third party is very persistent, intimidating, hmm. and petty. This third party is equally petty, overly petty, and they have a big appetite when it comes to manipulation. I feel this third party is all over them, whether that is bad or good, if this energy is trying to install a sense of fear, a sense of control, they're trying to make this person feel like there is nowhere to go, and in so many ways, that's the truth because they are taking from them. Hmm. This third party is taking what they want, when they want. Hmm. And this other person is holding on because they feel it's all they got. Not realizing that they're holding on to an even bigger snake. This is someone who's getting all the signs and symbols to back off. They want to. 
but they're thinking about what they're going to walk into when it comes to what they fear fears of the unknown and the fact that you are focused on yourself something is troubling they know they can't make something a misunderstanding and this clinging third party is starting to be their only option someone is regretting the fact that they never exposed the true fact that they are sorry hmm. Because now that they have backed off, then you are starting to focus on yourself. They're starting to be more aware when it comes to someone who is sly. Because trust me, this energy has become a problem. I feel like this is someone who just expects the worst at this point. They know they really screw some things up when it comes to someone who has lying eyes. This third party has definitely become a problem. This false environment, whoever this is that they trusted, they regret it now, or they soon will, because there is a sense of envy when it comes to a risky offer that they accepted. Because they know it's going to be hell or high water to gain your trust back. I feel this is someone who wants to gain your trust because they want you to fix it. Hmm. They want you to fix it, but. This is why many of you, you good. You good where you at. And you're not trying to do more than what you have to. Especially when it comes to this energy. Because you've put a lot of work into a situation that they only played with. And now that you're using your intuition. And this third party has become a problem. They're trying to figure out a way to back off. But as I said before. The listen, the listen and the wake up call of them being thrown into the flames. It's just so they can snap out of it. Come out of this trance that they are in when it comes to the smoke and mirrors of life. As I sense this third party, these outside influences is the true test of their faith. A true wake up call. A wake up call to understand and realize that love is an action and something that is to be respected because now they are learning lessons through emotions, tears, as well as fears, especially when it comes to the things that they have now lost and maybe lost for good, as they only expect the worst to come from this. But I feel like they should because I feel there would never be a positive outcome from all of the terrible things that they have done to this connection and even you. As I sense this energy is all in their head about you, all in their head about these lessons and learning some things that they never thought that they would have to experience. As it seems they're in their head only because they never expected to lose. Not like this, yet. When it comes to you, not everything is a loss, unless that loss is you, because if so, they're fucked.